Hi everyone, hi and welcome back to my channel. So um, it's been a little while, so um, for any of you new guys, new to my channel, my name is Tina and I am a wife and mum to three young kids and I'm on a massive weight loss journey. So I'm currently um, on week five. Ooh, I know the week's flying by um, post-op from my gastric sleeve um, surgery so stay tuned to find out how it's been going so hi guys like I said week five yes it's been a couple of weeks since I have been on so I do apologize it has been absolutely crazy this side um, end of school as you can probably imagine some of you can probably relate there so it's been a little bit crazy with the end of school stuff um, and we're now on the summer holidays Woo! Um, which is a little bit crazy in my house so um, I'm not doing this whilst the kids are at school and nursery obviously I'm doing this um, whilst they're in bed <laughs> so they are finally in bed so I'm doing this little video so I'm five weeks and two days post-op um, which is great so I'm just gonna go back a little bit um, just to, like fill in a little bit from where I left off so um, I was starting puree um, when I last did my last video and puree was okay it's a it's a strange texture um, but I got used to it um, after a week um, so it did take me a few days to get get into the groove of it I, I ate quite a lot of refined beans actually um, during that period so refined beans are a good one very good source of protein as well anybody who's post um, bariatric surgery will know all what I'm talking about when it goes protein 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 that's what everybody talks about so it is really important to be fair so yeah so that's good um then i went on to soft food um that was a little bit like oh, what do you constitute soft you know it was it was a little bit difficult i, I did quite a lot of pureed stuff um and and mainly like mashed potatoes and stuff um i did some like thicker soups um so little some bits that are a bit more chunkier um i did have a pasta um that was like a really well cooked pasta so it was really quite soft um that was quite nice so that that was okay and then the following week i went on to normal food so woohoo i am now back on normal food <gasps> crazy absolutely crazy um so yeah it's about introducing it slowly every provider is different some providers will say you need to do puree for a couple more weeks or you need to do soft for a couple more weeks or you know before you can progress on to normal my provider so always go by your provider um, my provider has said um, two weeks for a liquid diet then one week soft um, uh, one week puree sorry then one week soft and then you can go on to normal food but slowly introduce that food and it's not set in stone so if you feel that things are a bit sore that you know you that they're not quite right then just go back a stage for a couple of days let your stomach kind of heal a little bit and then obviously progress so see how you feel just listen to your body that's something that i found that I'm actually doing now I'm actually listening to my body you know I have um, gone through some things where I've um, I've eaten maybe a little bit too quickly or um, I, or I had juice I think it was too quickly or something and I got like a pain here in my chest and um, yeah it just it wasn't good it really wasn't good um, and um my shakes as well so like i have a particular shake that i have now normally to make these shakes up you they're a high protein shake obviously um i use plant-based stuff so uh, mainly so um uh mine is obviously a vegan friendly one um which you know you don't have to but mine is um and uh, i absolutely love it and it normally to make it up in a normal circumstance you do 250 ml of milk 
and then one scoop of your powder and then you can add other ingredients to it to change the you know the taste and things as well there's loads of different recipes which is great and i love them pre-surgery now I've had to adapt the way I have it because anybody that's got a sleeve or is going through it maybe will know that 200 mils or grams is kind of like you're kind of at your full point for your your stomach for your pouch so I can't put 250 ml of milk in there with one scoop of powder which is about 32 grams if I remember right off the top of my head um so that's obviously adding to that as well. So it's far too much. So um, I'm keep, I've managed to keep the whole scoop. So I'm getting the whole amount of protein in there, but I've reduced the amount of milk. So I currently have 125 mils of milk. I use an Alpro soya one, um, you know, cause I, I use a lot of pro, um, uh, plant-based stuff, which is fine. Um, but I actually use Alpro it is fortified and some, some other brands are and stuff. Um, but I use the protein one. Um, so I get that little bit extra protein in mine as well, which, um, I do like. So yeah, so, so my shakes are good and I do, I do like them. They are lovely, but that's all I could tolerate. I was having the bigger ones with the 250 ml of milk and I was sipping it kind of near enough for about two maybe more hours and I was getting really quite ill I was on the toilet I was having a bit of dumping basically um and it's not nice you know shakes sweating I was vomiting out the other end not nice um and heart palpitations and uh, it was awful absolutely awful and i thought what am i doing what am i doing wrong you know i'm i'm doing everything right i don't understand then i sat back and thought and thought hold on a minute this is what i'm doing and then i realized that then i adapted adapted the amount of milk and stuff that was in it and touch wood so far it's been fine i can tolerate it fine so you know it's it's listening to your body um that's the thing that i think i'm i'm doing now whereas probably wasn't doing really before i have got a nifty i think i mentioned last time a nifty little app on my phone which is like a bariatric um meal timer app um it's great um i can literally you can set it to whatever you want i mean my provider always says 20 the 20 rule so i set it for 20 minutes so to eat for a maximum of 20 minutes um per meal and then to eat 20 um two for 20 seconds and then have a 20 second break and then continue um for the 20 minutes for a maximum of 20 minutes that's been brilliant um absolutely i put that on done um so easy to do so so good so yeah definitely if you're struggling with the like because it's a bit of mindfulness really isn't it it's, it's mindful eating in a way so if you're struggling with that then yeah definitely think about that um think about one of those apps i think there's quite a few out there so have a little look um but yeah I, i've been having some like harder things some like a little bit like a rivita type thing but with like loads of different seeds and stuff on the top it was a little bit different to a rivita one um i put some like peanut butter on there the other night which was lovely did two of them thinking oh yeah i'll be fine could only manage one <laughs> um I, I still have the um oh i can have that no that's too much you know like um um i look at something like oh this will be nice this will be yummy i'm really looking forward to this but it's not gonna fill me up that's like my still fat brain thinking you know because yes they have given me a tool but they haven't fixed my brain you know <laughs> so my brain's got to catch up with my with my body now um so and my brain was going ah, it's gonna it's gonna be lovely you're gonna really enjoy it but the textures and the tastes are gonna be great but you're gonna be hungry afterwards no, I wasn't that great. <laughs> I couldn't eat all. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely surprises me still. Um, 
we've had some great weather as well which has been lovely um but then over the last week when the kids typically broke up for school um it's been raining most of the week so that's been a little bit naff but we've still had lots of things to do so we've been really busy so that's been really good um and last week before the kids went off on their summer holidays me and my husband went out yes we went out during the day when they were at school nursery and things so we had like childcare in that way um we um went out for a couple of meals um just like lunch just you know um went to like out for coffee a few times and and then we went actually out um for a meal a little meal just a little lunch meal um my husband ordered and i was like i don't know what to order and where we went normally does tapas and i thought tapas is gonna be great but little bowls but they've got some issues with the chef and stuff at the minute so staffing and stuff so they didn't have the full menu on and they they took the tapas off and i didn't know until we got there so i was like oh no we haven't got time to go anywhere else so we just we went there um so he ordered something which i could eat and then i ate a bit of it um and then we ordered um some he ordered some more chips um so he could have some of them as well so i went for the protein on the plate um it was a burger i can have the roll or anything i can i can eat well, i've not really eaten bread to be honest but um i've had a thin the other day um but i find it doughy things kind of fill me up um so it's not the best thing for me really it's better for me to have the protein so um, i'm already noticing that i'm changing my mindset already like the way i'm looking at things i'm like hmm and the, the first thing I, I prioritize on my plate is the protein and i'll go straight to the protein whereas before i would kind of leave that till last um and eat everything else and, and then go for the protein but yeah now it's just like go straight for the protein and then you know eat other things and then if you know I, i'm careful with you know things like um bread and things because i know it fills me up um, I don't know if this is with everybody, um, you know, so definitely comment below um, if this is you or if, if you find this as well. So it would be interesting to, to know. I made a lovely curry tonight with some rice that was really, really nice. Um, beautiful. Um, and I've got some leftover for tomorrow for dinner for me. So that'll be nice. So um, that'll be good. Um, and I'm still having a little bit of issues with fluids that's the only thing so um i have got my trusty little protein water here at the minute i'm gonna have a little sip please excuse me for that um but i am struggling to get the fluid in now it seems really weird like it's not sore or anything like that um but I just feel like I'm drinking all day. And then you've got the, the, you know, the time limits where you can't drink 20 minutes before a meal, 20 to half an hour, um, you know, before and after a meal. So it was like, oh. And then I feel like I'm sipping all day. And then like, I've got one of these like big bottles of water. Um, sometimes put juice in it as well, just to like change the taste a bit. Um, and it had a straw in it. So I had to take the straw out because you can't have straws um post surgery because you suck too much in and then it gives you a big gulp and then um i, I was drinking it and i was like because it's got a little spout on the top i was drinking it and then i was just like oh that's sore why is it sore it's not got a straw and then i looked inside and i was like oh you idiot there's a straw in there and i was like so i took it out and took the straw off um and then drank it and it's fine it doesn't hurt me now um and i don't get like you know it's not like a big gulp um but i'm still finding that i'm struggling to get that that content in um so um the protein water is definitely brilliant um and i do like that kind of top on it which is good but yeah any tips um on just how to increase that protein that protein sorry that fluid intake would be absolutely great. So yeah, any tips, anything that you find that helps you or anyone you know that's had bariatric surgery, um, that would be much appreciated. Please pop 
comments below um, and I will look at them. Um, someone who's not bariatric or not post bariatric or, or knows anyone that is, apart from me, <laughs> um, she mentioned to me about the straws and I was like, oh, straws. And she said, um, but the straws that like hikers and cyclists and stuff use, that they're different to like our straws. So if anybody, like normal straws, <laughs> Um, so if anybody knows anything about that, please comment below. That would be really appreciated. Um, I'm going to look into that um, to see if, if that may help. So I just feel like I'm sipping all day. Um, and I, can't, I forget. I'm, I'm like, oh, I haven't had like water in ages. But I used to be really good pre-surgery. I was like having like three litres of water a day. No problem. I think I was gulping though, thinking back actually, I, th I think I was gulping um, parts of it maybe, so maybe, and now I can't gulp water uh, or any fluid at all, maybe that's why, mm. I don't know, a little bit, yeah, I have to think about that one, so yeah, any ideas, please pop them below, that would be really appreciated, um, and yeah, I'm protein wise i am bang on bang on my protein um i'm about uh between 70 80 grams of protein a day doesn't sound like much um pre-surgery uh po yeah pre-surgery i was a lot more than that I was about 110 to 150 um grams of protein a day so um it is obviously significantly less but i am eating a lot less um so um but no what they require what my provider um obviously always go with your advice from your physician your dietitian um you know speak to your team um but yeah mine has said 60 grams or more um so a minimum of 60 grams um is what you should be aiming for a day um i uh track mine on my phone um using a nutri check app which is really easy you can just scan barcodes and there's like a database you can search things in there as well um, which is absolutely great um, I did use it pre-surgery as well so I was keeping an eye on my protein levels and stuff just to like kind of get into the habit and stuff as well um, I use NutriCheck I did use um, my fitness pal at the start um, like months 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 ago um, I didn't really get on with it to be honest but some people love it some people don't so NutriCheck I prefer the kind of like use interface of, um, of NutriCheck it just seems better for me but everyone's different so I would always say try them first before you go in I mean I've got the full package on it so um, you know I pay like an annual fee it's, I can't remember how much it is there's always discounts and stuff so always look out for that as well actually always look out for a discount don't pay full price if you can um, you know there's always offers and stuff on um, for all these kind of apps so um, yeah don't pay full price if I was you <laughs> um, so yeah look at them um, and you know try them first uh, there's normally always a try before you buy kind of thing anyway so try it to see if you like it first see if you get on with it and if you do then obviously you know then you can purchase it um, you know and purchase the right package for you so yeah that's what I would advise um, but yes let's get on to the nitty gritty shall we so obviously I've not been on for a couple of weeks so slap on the wrist do apologize um, but yes please do follow me on Instagram and Facebook because um, I do put updates on there all the time pretty much every day actually um, so you know always keep up to date with me on there as well but I will be doing regular weekly at least um, videos for you guys anyway so um, so yes weights let's go on to weight so I've written them down because there's a couple here obviously um, so two weeks ago I maintained um, which was absolutely fine people were like oh my god are you gutted you've gone through all of this and I was like great to be honest right um, some people will put on because of all the swelling um, and everything um, and also your glycogen um, stores because from the liver reducing diet um, will be replenishing as well so people can put on people can stay the same you know everybody's different and at the end of the day I don't compare myself to anybody else it's my journey 
at the end of the day. Um, so I maintained that week, which was absolutely fine. And then the week after that, I lost a pound, which was fine, absolutely fine again. I was like, it's fine. Uh, this is amazing. You know, I'm going through so much. So this is so good. Um, and then this week, smashed it and lost four pounds, which is absolutely crazy. So since surgery, I've lost 21 pounds. So that's in five weeks and two days, I've lost 21 pounds, which is brilliant. Very impressed with myself. Um, and since the end of August last year, so nearly a year ago, um, when I started really, you know, the Find You Again program and I started, um, you know, working on me and working on what I was aiming for, which was this surgery and, you know, extreme weight loss, um, was I have now lost 76 pounds, which is crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. Wow. So that's five stone and six pounds I've lost since end of August last year, which is mental, absolute mental. Um, I also, big big up to me here, whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, I finally done some measurements. <laughs> oh, I wish I took some at the start, really do. Hmm, slap on the wrist. Um, but I finally took some measurements. So last week I took some measurements and then I took some this week as well. Um, so in a week I have lost 10.5 centimetres um, and that's off all over. So like I did my neck, I did um, my uh, bust, I did my hips, um, my waist, um, bum, I think that was it. Um, didn't do my legs actually, that wasn't on my list. Maybe I should really do my legs. Yeah, comment below if I should do my legs. Um, that would be interesting if, if that's a good one to do. Um, but yeah, so really, really impressed with myself there. Really impressed. Um, done really, really well. I mean, that's that's five stone and six pounds. That's, that's nearly five and a half stone. That's, wow, I am impressed with myself. And 21 pounds in surgery, wow, amazing. So yes, big pat on the back, Tina, you are doing well. Um, and yeah, it has been emotional, actually. My hormones have been up and down a bit um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, that has been tough, that has been really tough. Um, and yeah, it's still up and down, you know, um, but this is all normal. It does mess with your hormones. Um, it's completely normal. So yeah, anybody that's going through this and is thinking, oh my goodness, I'm like, emotional one minute not the next um oh, what's going on um you know this is all normal so you know write it down um journal journal this is something i need to take a leaf out of my own book and do more journaling again so um i always tended to do it when the kids i got up really really early um before the kids would wake up do a workout and i would journal and then the kids would wake up and then all the crazy like day would start. Um, Monday to Friday, and I gave myself Saturday and Sunday off. Um, it's like my rest days. Um, so I am, um, obviously as I said, five weeks and two days. So from next Thursday, I'm gonna have to start my workouts again. So this routine is coming back. I'm gonna stick to the Monday to Friday, so I think I'll just do my, my workouts on the Thursday and the Friday, which will be a good kind of easing myself into it, because I've gotta be careful, not go too, no, not push too far and fast, if you know what I mean, you have gotta take it gently. Um, so I'm gonna do the Thursday and the Friday, and then have the Saturday and Sunday off as rest days, and then start from the Monday as a full week. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm counting down the days actually which is kind of a little bit surreal and I don't recognize myself because like that wasn't me <laughs> I really wasn't me at all um so that's that's kind of a little bit crazy um but yeah yeah it will be good it'll be good so I will let you know next week how that goes how it's going how the workouts are going um, you know, I know it's going to take a while to get up to what I was before. I've had nine weeks, it will be by that point, nine weeks of not doing any workouts. And that routine, like, gone out of my life. That's a long time. 
you know, so my body's not going to be used to it. So it's going to take a little while to get back up to, you know, where it was, but I've had to heal and I had no energy during the liver reducing diet. I literally could not do it. Um, I kicked myself for it though. I was a bit tough on myself for that. Um, I tried, but I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, but hey ho, that's the way it is, isn't it? Um, so yeah, um, I shall speak to you next time. Make sure that you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can get my um, new videos when they come out and there will be another video next week and I'll let you know how the fitness is going and how the summer holidays is going. How's the summer holidays going for you as well? Comment below. Let me know how it's all going for you if you've got kids. Um, or you know if you're on a weight loss journey as well please comment below um i love to connect with other people who are on a weight loss journey whether it's extreme weight loss like me um weight loss surgery or whatever it is we're all you know just trying to be better you know we're just trying to do what's right for us as individuals um and that's all that we can ever ask just keep going keep fighting keep loving yourself um we can all do this we really really can so take care guys bye for now and i shall see you next week bye